Hi, this is attorney Roy Oppenheim from Oppenheim Law. A lot of times people say, you know, what is commercial litigation? What, what does that really mean? Um, and it means different things to different people, but I'll tell you what it, what it means to me. I mean, when, you, when you're involved in commercial litigation, you're involved with two parties that are not involved in a family dispute. They're not necessarily involved in a real estate dispute. They're not involved in a criminal matter. They're involved with some business dispute, some business matter. And it could be uh, you as a purchaser, uh, not necessarily as a consumer, but you as a purchaser as a business buying something from another business and not getting the value that you expected. Either the shipment uh, never came, either the shipment didn't meet your specifications, uh, or uh, the, you know the shipment came in late and thus it, it, it missed the value that, that, that you had. And so that's one form of commercial litigation. Another com you know, form of commercial litigation is uh, where you hire a, a company to provide a service and the services that they provide are, are substandard and don't meet the specifications. It could be software development, it, it could be a, a website development, it, it, it could be uh, furniture that was being constructed. It could be millions of, of different things, but but those are those are typically the kinds of issues that you have uh, in commercial litigation. And sometimes you have litigation with with, with overseas vendors, some a manufacturer who's who's making products, and the products that they're making aren't the specification. They get stuck at the port, and who's responsible? Or they get damaged in in shipping. And then you got insurance issues. A lot of times, commercial litigation involves insurance because a lot of the losses are are sometimes insured. So a lot of times you're dealing with with insurance claims. Um, so those are, those are the types of commercial litigation matters that, that, that come to mind for me. But, but other types of commercial litigation may be where you have a partner and there's a dispute on, 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 on your relationship with that partner in terms of um, uh, how that relationship exists, who makes decisions, uh, how much each is getting paid, compensation, distributions, tax matters, all kinds of issues that, that could be associated with, with them. With a partnership. Also, when you're buying or selling a business, that's typically a lot of commercial commercial litigation gets involved. You expected one thing and you got something else. And so, whether you were selling a business or you were buying a business, either way, uh, you may feel that you got the short end of the stick for some reason, and that too would be a form of, of commercial litigation. So that's typically what commercial litigation means, and, and we've been doing it for years. We, we like to try and resolve these matters when we can, but when we can't, you have to go to court and you have to do what you got to do. Uh, litigation is expensive, and so we like to avoid it. We, love, we like to make sure that the matter in controversy, the amount that we're fighting over, will certainly exceed the legal fees. I mean, it's just terrible when the legal fees are more than what we're fighting over, because then that means that this is obviously a matter of principle and not necessarily a matter of, of just commerce. But sometimes, you know, someone wants to teach someone a lesson or someone just feels so emotionally strong about their feelings that they don't care about the legal fees. But as an attorney and as a, and an officer of the court, we really feel that it's best when we can try and resolve these matters and where the legal fees aren't the main thrust of the, of the, of the problem. Anyway, call me if you have any questions. Roy Oppenheim from the trenches. Thank you.